In the winter, Barcelona was 17 seconds late with the transfer of Julian Araujo. And to be allowed to sign the player, they had to apply to several authorities. Why the Blaugrana fought so hard for the new Dani Alves? And what makes him special? We'll tell you in this video. So, subscribe to the channel and let's get started! You can't call yourself a Barcelona fan if the first question that popped into your head when you heard about Julian Araujo wasn't Is he Ronald's brother? The answer is no. They are not related. But it would be fair to say that they have some similarities. In fact, they are not even compatriots. The new Barca recruit was born and raised in the United States. He spent his entire football career there before transferring to the Camp Nou. Despite the fact that Julian is a native of the United States, he plays for the Mexican national team because he is of Mexican descent. The story of this decision is quite interesting, as Araujo went through all the youth national teams of the United States and even played one friendly match for the main team. In the summer of 2021, Julian wasn't included in the national team squad for CONCACAF Gold Cup, the North American equivalent of the Euros. According to the former US national team coach, Araujo wasn't sure of his place in the team probably due to the high competition. Participation in official matches would have tied him to playing for his national team forever. A few months later, FIFA approved a change of national team for Araujo, and he began playing for Mexico. He made his debut for the new team at the end of 2021 in a friendly against Chile. Julian currently has three matches for the Mexicans. By the way, he was not included in a squad for the World Cup and missed the tournament. From the outside, it seems that Julian has nothing in common with Mexico except his roots. If you watch his interviews and understand his worldview, you get the impression that he is an American from head to toe. Araujo is now 21 years old and made a name for himself playing in the MLS for LA Galaxy. He spent four seasons with the team. During this time, he played 98 matches in the league, scored one goal and made 14 assists. Obviously, he proved himself in the best possible way, otherwise Barcelona wouldn't have approached him. By the way, this transfer is not Julian's first contact with Barcelona. He was one of the first players to attend the Barca Residency Academy USA, which opened in August 2017. This is the first and so far only residential academy in the club's international program. It was from there that he was invited to LA Galaxy. Guy's determination, who saw his career continuing only in Europe, is worth noting. Last summer, when Barca's interest was not known, he said, I want to play at the top teams, the top leagues, and I'm someone who wants to learn every day and I want to continue to grow and take advice from the best players possible from the best teams, from the best coaching staff. In order for me to reach the highest potential, I definitely think I need to go to Europe. Barcelona paid 4 million euros for the talented Mexican. As the transfer was not finalized before the winter transfer window closed, Julian will not be able to play for the Catalans this season. However, there is no doubt that he is a player for the first team. Barcelona already has financial problems, so they wouldn't spend 4 million euros to strengthen the youth team. Julian has even been involved in training with the first team. He attended a session before the last match against Real Madrid. Until the end of the season, Araujo will have game time in Barcelona B, coached by his compatriot and the legend of the Blaugrana, Rafael Marquez. This will also be a benefit for the promising player's adaptation. I'm delighted that he is coming. He's gonna be with me for a while and then move on to the first team. Let him do a bit of adjusting and I hope he has a nice career here." Marquez commented on Julian. Xavi needed a natural right back, and Araujo has every chance of becoming an important element in Barcelona's mechanism. At the moment, this position is mainly covered by Jules Koundé, who is still more of a central defender. Last season, the Blaugrana released Dani Alves and Serginio Dest. And more recently, actor Bellerin also left the team, 
so Julian is definitely in the coach's plans. Now let's dive a little deeper into why Barcelona wanted to sign Julian. Fans want to see him as an heir of Dani Alves, so it makes sense to compare the Mexican to the Brazilian. They do have some similar characteristics, but there are also enough differences. The first is defense. It's Julian's strong point. Last MLS season, Araujo ranked 7th among all defenders in the league in tackles. He had 73. A solid figure, considering that this includes center backs. And if we look at all the defenders who made at least 50 tackles, Araujo has the best passing accuracy among them. That is, we can conclude that he is a fairly balanced player, managing to work both in defense and attack. According to who scored, Araujo is the best right back in MLS among those who have played at least 20 games in a season and has a rating of 6.88. Araujo is a player who can give Barcelona a lot. He goes into free space a lot. He can be very useful. Former Barcelona player Ricky Puch, who was his teammate at LA Galaxy, praised Julian. Araujo stands out in defense because he reads the opponent's movements very well. Pushing the ball past him is not an easy task. Julian constantly makes tackles and interceptions due to his agility and perfect timing. The Mexican plays persistently and aggressively. This style sometimes harms him. In 98 games in MLS, he received 23 yellow and 2 red cards. This is a bit too much, and this aspect needs to be worked on. Compared to Dani Alves, Julian doesn't have such a samba technique and self-directed passes. However, attacking play is still the Mexican's strong point. He is constantly focused at the opponent's goal and likes to make crosses or passes into the box. 14 assists in 98 MLS games is a good indicator. Of course, we have to take into account the strength of the league. Although MLS is progressing by leaps and bounds, it's still at different levels compared to La Liga. Here, the weaknesses will be more clearly visible, and the strength will not be so easy to show. So, everything will depend on how Araujo works and proves himself. He has all the chances for that. Julian, subject to his own progress, opens up many additional tactical options for Xavi. Firstly, the coach will now be able to build a three-at-the-back formation not only with Balde on the left, but also with Araujo on the right. If now Xavi can only use this maneuver in this way, then next season it'll be possible to mirror it. It'll also be possible to use this scheme with both Balde and Araujo from the start. This applies to games where it's necessary to give a rest to one of the four central midfielders or simply in games with a bigger threat for an own goal. Secondly, Xavi will be able to use the classic 4-3-3 formation with both attacking defenders. In La Liga, the Catalans will have a huge number of games where the opponent will park the bus in their own health and Barcelona won't have to defend much, so there will be no need for a third centre-back. Thus, Julian will give Xavi variability and unpredictability. We can say that this is a proactive game from the coach. Opponents have not yet found a counter to Xavi's tactics, but they will certainly start to do so if Barca continues to play in a monotonous manner. Now Araujo just has to work hard and prove himself. He will definitely have good chances, so we can only wish him good luck. Write in the comments whether you believe in Julian and whether he will be able to succeed in the first team next season. And of course, Watch the other videos from our channel that you see on your screens.